Hello, my name is Kevin Smay. I work for the Valen Corporation as a lubrication product technical specialist. Today we're doing a how-to video to show how to make appropriate time changes to the Lincoln P203 series pumps. We're going to be taking a look at the pump today in our shop here and we're going to be making setting changes to the standard pump dials that come with the P203 series pumps. First thing you want to do if you're in your application, uh, usually your machine uh, is going to be outside, it could be inside. We're going to come up to the pump and we want to do some cleanliness uh, before we get into actually making the time adjustments. This particular location right here is a cover cap that actually protects the timing board inside the pump housing. Uh, if you use your flat bladed screwdriver, this plug should be in there kind of tight need to remove that plug. Before you do, you need to make sure you clean any uh, dirt or moisture that may be around the outside edge of that uh, unit before you get inside. We'll be looking a little closer at the pump uh, controller inside, but you'll notice that there's going to be two different dials. There's going to be a blue dial on the left and a red dial on the right. And we'll be looking at how that looks when we turn on the power here in just a moment. If you notice that when we have the power on, we have two sets of lights that are going to come on. The light on the left is the indication that we have power. It indicates the light on the right tells us that we're in operation. Again, the blue dial is telling us our pause time. The red dial is telling us our run time. Now, if we go ahead and kill our power, so something happens, we turn off the ignition switch, what happens? We have no lights anywhere. So that would tell us that our ignition switch or our power source has gone away. As soon as we bring that back, we have operation. So let's just say you turned off your vehicle for lunch, went to lunch and it was in the middle of an operation mode like we just did. We turned off the ignition switch. You came back from lunch, you turned it back on. It's going to pick up where it was in its time cycle. It has an internal memory. As was mentioned, inside the pump we have two dials and we have this two lights. We talked about the dial on the left, which is the blue dial. That's the pause time. If you notice, this particular dial is set on one. That equates to a one hour off time of the pump. So as the pump would be connected to an ignition switch, if this was a mobile piece of equipment, we would have one hour of operation time with the ignition switch activated that the pump would be off. At the end of that operation time or pause time, then we would have an operation time which would be off the red dial. This particular one is set for one, so it would be for two minutes. So the pump would run for two minutes every hour and it would dispense a certain amount of grease. The blue dial is set up for one hour increments. So for the one we have on the blue dial, it's going to run for, it's going to have a pause time of one hour. At the two setting, you would have two hours of pause, three, three hours, and so on, all the way up to 15 hours of pause time. That would be the maximum amount of time that you'd have on a standard setting. The red dial, which is the run time, are set in two minute increments. So therefore, one is for two minutes, two is for four minutes, and so on around the dial. Again, that amount of grease that you would get out of the pump element here on the, on the right would depend upon our run time, and we'll talk about that later in a later video. So we have a whole lot of adjustments that we have with our particular application. The one thing to note is that if you did make a change on your, your either your run time or your pause time, it's only going to be affected on the next lubrication cycle after this one has been completed. What we also want to note here at the bottom of the pump on the card is a white button. So let's say we wanted to test the pump and see uh, how it's operating downstream, see if we had grease, what it may, might be. This little white button in here is the override button. So you take your finger or some device and hold on that button for two seconds and the pump will start operating. If you notice the light on the right, which is the run light, comes on. So we know we have good ground, we have good power, we have pump operation. We can test our system that way. The one thing that you never want to set on this dial is zero and zero. Those are for test locations at the factory. You never want to have either of those dials set at zero and zero. It's important with any of these changes that you would make that you would consider your application and also can give us a call that we might uh, talk about your application so that we properly uh, have the correct 
time setting for your needs.